In this video, we are going to compare some of the best fine tuning tools available out there. Fine tuning is the process of taking a pre trained AI model and adapting it for specific tasks, domains, or use cases by training it on targeted data sets. This is Fahad Mirza, and I welcome you to the channel. Fine tuning has evolved a lot. This process allows developers to use the vast knowledge already captured in large models while customizing their behavior for particular applications. Fine tuning is essential because it enables cost effective spe specialization without the enormous computational requirements of training from scratch. It improves model performance on specific tasks and allows for personalization that can dramatically enhance user experience and task accuracy. In this comprehensive comparison, we are going to analyze five leading fine tuning tools to help you choose the right one for your specific needs. Whether you are a researcher working on cutting edge models, a developer building production applications, or someone just getting started with AI customization, this comparison should guide you through the strengths and weaknesses of each platform. We are going to check out their performance metrics, model support, ease of use, and production readiness to give you a complete picture of fine tuning landscape. So what we are comparing here, we are going to compare this Swift tool, which is a model scopes comprehensive framework supporting over 500 language models. We will then check Unslock that focuses on extreme performance optimization and promises 30% or 30 times faster training with 70% less memory usage. Then we have Deep Speed, which is a Microsoft's enterprise grade optimization suite that enabled massive models like MT5 30 billion and Bloom. After that, we will move on to Llama Factory that provides a zero code solution with CLI and also a web UI support for 100 plus models. And then we will check out Exolotl that offers YAML based configuration for post training modifications and there are a lot of other features too. So let's get started. First up, I'm going to check out their performance and speed analysis. When examining raw performance metrics, Unsloth clearly dominates with its 30 times speed improvement in the max offering and two times improvement in the open source version, coupled with dramatic 70% memory reduction. This advantage comes from their manual autograd engine and custom Triton kernels that optimize matrix operations at the lowest level. Deep speed takes a different approach. Focusing on massive scalability rather than single GPU optimization that enables training across thousands of GPUs with their zero memory optimization techniques. The other tools, as you can see, MS Swift, Llama Factory and Exolotl offer more balanced performance with various quantization options ranging from 2-bit to 16-bit making them suitable for different hardware constraints from RTX cards to high-end data center GPUs. Next up, let's check out this model support and comparison. Now, this is a very moving target. It keeps changing. Um, these tools keep adding stuff. So just make sure that you are aware of the latest support on their GitHub repo. MS Swift leads significantly in sheer breadth with support for 500 plus language models and 200 plus multimodal models, covering everything from Quen and Intern LM to specialized multimodal architectures like Quen 2.5 VL and Intern VL3. Llama Factory, as you can see, follows with 100 plus model support but excels in training methods, diversity that offers everything from continuous pre training to advanced alignment techniques like DPO, PPO, and KTO. Unsloth sort of is taking a focused approach, supporting popular models like Llama, Mistral, and Gemma, while extending beyond language models to TTS, uh, STT, and Diffusion models. But there is not much support there. Deep Speed provides universal transformer support but shines in advanced techniques like 3D parallelism and mixture of expert training. 
Exolot will maintain solid coverage of core models like Llama and Pythia and seems a bit older while offering unique features like Relora and multi-packing optimization. But to be fair, I see uh, Exolotl in huge uh, presence in a lot of labs. Okay. Next up, if you look at ease of user interface, Llama Factory and MS Swift emerge as the most user-friendly options, both offering comprehensive web interfaces that eliminate the need for complex uh, configuration. Llama Factory's zero-code approach is particularly appealing for beginners, while Swift provides extensive best practices and documentation through their Gradio interface. Exolotl strikes a middle ground with its YAML configuration system that offers simplicity without sacrificing flexibility, and that is quite ideal for users who want reproducible version control training setups. Unsloth seems to be prioritizing quick start with excellent Colab notebook integration and simple PIP installation, making it quite good for experimentation and learning, in my opinion. Deep speed, while powerful, requires the steepest learning curve and is primarily designed for users with deep technical expertise in distributed systems. For production deployment, MS Swift and Deep Speed lead with comprehensive enterprise features. Swift offers complete pipeline integration with VLLM and LM Deploy for inference ex acceleration, built in evaluation capabilities, and seamless deployment options. DeepSpeed provides unmatched enterprise scalability through Microsoft ecosystem, including Azure integration and the MII inference optimization system. Llama Factory excels in monitoring and experimenting, experiment tracking with native support for WANDB, MLflow, and TensorBoard, plus production-ready inference through OpenAI compatible APIs. Exolotl provides solid containerization support through Docker and good monitoring integration, making it quite suitable for cloud deployment. Unsloth, while focused primarily on training optimization, offer a standard PyTorch compatibility for downstream deployment. So which one is better? Look, I think that after working the, with these tools for some time, and I have created videos on all of them, multiple ones, and I have also used them in production environment, I think that Llama Factory um, seems really, really good at this point in time, this week, and it's a quite a good tool for majority of users. Its zero-code interface democratizes fine-tuning, making it accessible for rapid prototyping and POC development, exactly what the community uh, needs, in my opinion, at this point in time. But if you're just starting out, you want to just get your hands dirty a bit more, maybe Unsloth is also good quite a good choice. The combination of comprehensive model support, user-friendly interface, and production-ready feature makes Llama Factory quite good for beginners, exploring fine-tuning and teams moving to production. Now, if you are just looking for memory efficiency, and if you have a resource-constrained environment, maybe Unsloth is, again, maybe a good choice. Meanwhile, Swift represents the best choice for organizations needing comprehensive multimodal capabilities and extensive model coverage. The future clearly points towards personalized task-specific small models and tools that balance accessibility with performance optimization that will be essential for enabling the widespread adoption of specialized AI models that can efficiently run on local hardware while delivering exceptional task-specific performance. Now, towards the end, I will give you one tip. If you just want to fine-tune your model and you don't really uh, worry about local or cloud or whatever, I think the best option is to go for any cheaper online hosted service where you will just upload your data or maybe use any provided data, who knows, and then with a single click, you can fine-tune your model. There are a lot of services available there. Uh, most of them are paid, but now that cost has dramatically come down. Already, these things are very complex, and you need a lot of iterations, not a lot of um, tinkering and fine-tuning and tweaking. So that is why if your goal is to have you know, as hassle-free, as painless fine-tuning as you want, 
i would suggest go with some of the hosted tools um, there are some paid tools which you can use even you know the, these model providers like openai anthropic they provide such tools which you can readily use and there are heaps of them this market has grown a lot where you will just upload your data do a single click and your model will be fine tuned if you're not happy just rerun it again so takes less time you don't have to invest in hardware you don't have to set up these things and you don't have to tinker with all the knobs and whistles because still though these all these tools are good but still they uh, require a lot of manual effort so that is just my two cents there before i let you go let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Please like the video if you find the content helpful and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.